is anybody in here? I am so excited. As you all can see, I am rested up just a little bit. We are going live today from the new kitchen. Say hello if you're in here. When you come in the chat, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're in here. Okay, so now what I can see is 12 people are actually in here and I got eight thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up on your way in and if you haven't done so, check back out. Give me a thumbs up and then come right back in. Hello, dose of Drew Baby. Hello, Kathy and Sylvia and Pure Love. Hello, everybody. I'm doing all kinds of lives, right? Like this is so different for me and I'm kind of enjoying it a little bit. So now you're only getting a sneak peek today. This is just a sneak peek of the kitchen. Let me know if you all can see the lighting. I, I do have um, these accent lights. I might need to turn it off so you can see a little better. Let me know if you all have a good picture. I'm gonna move out the way really quickly. Hello, everybody. Let me know if the lighting is good or if I need to turn off some light. What do you guys think about the lighting? Do I need to turn off a little bit? Or it's, is it okay for now? <laughs> Thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank everybody who has subscribed. Thank you guys for your messages and just everything that you send our way. We appreciate you all for watching and subscribing to our channel. <laughs> so this right here is the new kitchen. Now, the, um, the view that I have right now, I'm gonna actually be sitting back here. This is a island. This is an island that you guys can see the laptop on right there. And of course you can see my water and you can see the, water, the faucet right here. So there's a sink that sits right here on this island but I'm only gonna give you guys a sneak peek. I don't wanna go fully around the whole uh, kitchen right now because we are gonna do the house tour and then you guys are gonna get to see everything, okay? So what I'm gonna do, if the lighting is okay, thank you guys, I love the backdrop. <laughs> if the lighting is okay, I'm gonna go behind the island and I'm gonna look at the messages because I won't be able to see the messages. I'm standing up close to the camera right now. All right, I'm not gonna be standing up here the whole time. So what I'll do is I'll make my way back uh, this way, sit down where my laptop is. I'll be able to read messages and we can kind of chit chat for a little while in the new kitchen. If that sounds okay, everybody say, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was so excited to do this for you all today. The lighting is great. Okay, I'm happy with that. Somebody did say, yeah. All right, I'm happy with that. So let me go sit down. Be right back. <laughs> So this right here is where I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, the cooking. Uh, over here we do have a, we do have the stove. The stove is built into the counter and it's kind of invisible. You know, you like, you really can't see it at all. <laughs> you can see the knobs on it. And you all will see that when we're doing videos, we're not going to be this far away. I purposely have the video on far away so you all could see a wide range. If I come a little bit closer, you'll be able to see me more, but since we're doing the review of a little bit of the kitchen, I have you guys far back. Okay, so let's turn on the chat here. And let's talk, let's talk. Guys, I am so happy. I, I, I got some good rest last night and I feel much better. I know the last couple of days we had the snake at the house, drove me nuts. <laughs> Let me turn on um, your comments here and turn my volume down so I can hear myself. All right, there we go. you guys you know I'm gonna be honest with you all I don't do a lot of lives we 
all know that. But um, the last couple lives that I have done, I had so much fun. I had so much fun interacting with you all. Um, and um, I had a really good time writing down the recipes that you all were requesting because it was it was due it was it was time for me to write down those recipes and get some new recipes sent out to you all so now what we're going to be doing tomorrow let's give you all an update on tomorrow tomorrow we're going to be growing grocery shopping doing our shopping for the recipes that you guys requested so i have some great recipes coming you all's way and i couldn't be more excited absolutely Drink a little bit of my pop here, and we'll read some messages. Okay. <clears throat> my neck, my neck is doing a little bit better. I can definitely say that, but it still hurts. It does still hurt. <laughs> yes, it does. Yesterday, I could barely move my neck. I was miserable. I put one of the, uh, I put one of the, uh, you know, the things that you use when you get on the airplane, the thing that goes around your neck and it has like the cooling gel. I slept with that on my neck last night, so maybe that helped me a little bit. <laughs> Ouch, as soon as I said that, I got a big crack in my neck. Okay, let's see here. What new recipes have you in store for us, Gina? Well, one of the recipes that someone had asked about, they said, Gina, make crab ragoons. So we're going to be doing that, okay? That That's one of them. I'm going to be doing red beans and rice. I, I know I have a video for that and the crab raccoons, but this is things that you all requested. I'm going to be doing some Puerto Rican uh, dishes. And let me see why I'm not picking up the actual live. Let's see here. Okay, so now I look far away because I am far away. I purposely put the camera far away so you all could get a sneak peek of a wide range of the kitchen. Now, if I bring the camera up close, of course, you'll see me closer, but you, you won't see as much as the kitchen. Is that what you all would like for me to do? Oh, I know exactly what I have to do with my camera so you all can see me. But like I said, I'm bringing it uh, further back so you all can see more of the kitchen. Peanut butter cake with peanut butter icing. Now listen here. I did a, I did a peanut butter cake. And what I want you to do is go to the um, dessert playlist and check out that peanut butter cake. I make an amazing peanut butter cake that was literally to die for. So you want to check that out. Uh, somebody said it's all good. We have time. <laughs> yes, closer please. Okay. Closer please that echo. Yeah, the echo because my house is empty. <laughs> you know, we are still waiting on front, we did have uh, furniture delivered today, which was like pictures and tables and things like that. Now, our actual furniture, um, we have that coming here in a couple of days as well. Let me fix my computer and I feel like I'm gonna wind up bringing you guys closer because you, I guess you wanna see my face closer. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do that. Red snapper. I wanna make some whole fried red snapper for you all. I would love to do that. Let me back out of this live really quickly and then I'll grab the camera, okay? There we are. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, so there, all right, so here's what we'll do. We'll bring it in a little bit. <laughs> it won't be this far away when we do the videos, okay? So let's see what happens when we bring it closer. <laughs> now, yes, I'm so excited about the backsplash. Really, I am. Okay, so let's get closer. 
come on in. Okay. And we'll kind of come down a little bit. Let's do a number like this and see what you all can see here. Well, you can kind of see the refrigerator. You can see the sink and the island. And back here behind the island, we're gonna have uh, four, uh, what are they called? Four bar stools. And like I said, the stove is built into the counter, so you can't see the stove. <laughs> Thank you guys. All right, let's bring it in closer. All right. And then I'll go sit down and see if you all can still see me. All right. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Yes it is. It's a much newer kitchen than the last one, you know. Much, much newer. All right, let's see. On your way in, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up on the way in, and if you haven't given me a thumbs up, check back out. Give me a thumbs up and then come back into the chat. Okay, so when I sit down, you all can tell me if I'm close enough so y'all can see me. Everybody wants to see me. <laughs> and what I was saying, guys, is I really enjoyed the uh, chats that we did the last couple days. And you're going to see me do more chats. I really, really, really enjoyed the chats. <laughs> I had so much fun laughing with you guys. You guys were making me laugh. And we was talking about the, um, we were talking about the snake. <laughs> and people were like, just leave the new house. Leave it where it's at. <laughs> But I'm going to be honest, I haven't thought about that snake since I talked about it with you guys. I'm really not going to worry about it because we are going to get an exterminator out here to kind of, you know, to see what's going on. And, and if they can catch some snakes or kill some snakes, then they can do it. But if not, I'm not going to worry about that either. You know, we're protected. <laughs> we're definitely protected by God, whether it's from the animals or from evil or whatever. We are protected in Jesus' name. Those snakes, don't, they don't have no authority over this household. <laughs> All right, let's see. There's Big Frank from Cleveland, Ohio. Hello, and welcome back to the channel, and thank you for watching. There's Sandra. She said, Gina, can I move in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Johnny Cook and Perry Ward, Loretta Bridges and Marie G. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Marilyn and Cynthia and George and Big 73, Debbie Gibson, Tanya Summers, Robin Brown, Linda Drake. Listen here. If I say any of your names wrong, please forgive me, guys. Like, like, please forgive me. Um, so let's, let's figure out something to talk about, something good to chat about. We can sit and laugh for a little bit today. <laughs> what about me, says Tasha Jackson. I can never forget about you, Tasha. Hello, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, Eleanor said, let's talk about food. Okay, April T, hello, and Jenny Tharp. <laughs> Gina, do you have a recipe for baked rice pudding? Um, okay, so I don't have a recipe for baked rice pudding, but I do have a recipe for rice pudding, and it's outstanding. I, I am a true fan of good rice pudding, and there is a such, there, there's a way to make rice pudding to where it's delicious if it's warm, delicious if it's cold, delicious if it's hot. I can eat rice pudding for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, if you guys want a second uh, video for rice pudding, let me know. I'll write it down and I'll remake it for you all. It's so tasty. It's so easy to make. <laughs> oh, yes, the rice pudding. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I, the camera is crooked. Okay. We're kind of going this way and we shouldn't be. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, somebody tell me if it's even or if it's uneven. 
You want a good corn pudding. Oh, yes. I, you know, listen, I have a video for corn pudding, but I don't call mine's corn pudding. I call it uh, scallop corn. My grandma from, uh, 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 from Chillicothe, she would make scallop corn, and a lot of people call it corn pudding. Check out my scallop corn recipe. You will love it. Chicken livers, gravy and rice. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Let me go sit back down, guys. So I'm just kind of relaxing. Got the Java pants on. <laughs> so excited to share with you all some of the kitchen. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. <laughs> Have you ever made Mexican menudo or pozole? I honestly haven't, and I've never tasted menudo. I would love to taste menudo because I love tripe. So maybe it's something that I should, you know, do a good research on and put that video out for you guys because I would love to taste it myself. And pozole, I haven't. If I'm saying pozole wrong, forgive me. Oh, I, I do. I love chicken gizzards. My dad would make chicken gizzards. He would smother those bad boys in some gravy. And just like you said, over white rice, listen here, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need. And maybe some cornbread, some sweet cornbread. <laughs> Been so busy. You haven't came in a long time, but you always said love from Jamaica. Well, welcome and thank you for watching. Uh, we're giving just a little sneak peek of the kitchen, just a little smidget of the kitchen, but we're going to show the full kitchen um, when we do the walkthrough of the house. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Sherry says, thank you for uh, the cooking lesson. My meatloaf is the best. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. You know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to share with you all recipes, you know, so you can share the recipe with your family in hopes that you guys will love it, learn how to make it, and your family will be a happy family. <laughs> I'm so serious. And when I get in this kitchen, my goal is to make the world's mouth water. I want to share with you all these recipes in detail. I like to be in detail so you guys can understand the art of cooking, of why you wouldn't do something or why you would want to do something, making sure that you season and how to let the meat rest before you cook it. Like I get really technical with this so you guys can turn out to be great cooks. And if you're already a great cook, I wanna share my recipes with you all. <laughs> you know, really I do. <laughs> I'm so excited today, guys. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. Uh, creme brulee. I have an amazing recipe. Let me write it down. Creme brulee. I have an amazing, really interesting recipe for how I make creme brulee, and it's delicious. Let's write it down, okay? All right, creme brulee. I'm sorry for the echo. It's just because, um, you know, we, we still need to have furniture moved in. Okay, so there are some areas that's kind of bare right now that's going to give me such an echo. But that'll all change, you know, and it's going to take some time to fill up this house because this house is much bigger than the other one. Okay. So, um, Brenda Willis says, love your kitchen so far. It's gorgeous. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Camille says, congratulations on a new house. Thank you. And Tiffany says, congratulations on your new home. Okay. And what about a flan? I, I don't know how to make a flan. I love flan. I don't know how to make it. Not successfully. You know, of course I could go in the kitchen and try to make it, but I have not been able to perfect a flan yet. Not yet, but I don't give up when I'm making foods. I'll make something over and over again until I perfect it. And then once I perfect it, I'll bring that recipe to you guys, you know? I have to do so a little bit more research on how to make the flan per perfect. <laughs> 
You love the backsplash. I'm so excited to be able to have backsplash. I don't know what to do. You know, because when you're renting, you can't just throw backsplash in a kitchen that you're renting. Like, you just can't do it. You can't paint. You can't, you can't do what you want in somebody else's place. So that's what's going to be great about, um, you know, us being new homeowners, uh, being able to do what we like and have the different things that we like to have. So excited. Haven't seen Dakota in a long time. I told you guys I need, I'm going to cut his hair and you guys can see him. He's actually in his bedroom and he has the dogs in there and they were just eating pizza. The dogs were eating pizza. The dogs were eating pizza and Dakota was eating pizza. <laughs> oh, thank you, Little Supreme 2. Love Everlasting says, hello, Gina. Doris Reeves gives a thumbs up. And Nikki Girl says, I'm so happy for you and very proud. Go, Gina. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, you are a barber too? Well, I'm the, okay, listen, let's talk about it. Let's just talk about it. So my dad, when my dad was, um, when my dad was a teenager, he, I don't know if he went to barber school, but he was a barber. Okay, he learned how to cut hair and do all that good stuff. Um, thank you so, Avi Love. Thank you so much for the super chat and thank you for watching. So my dad was a barber when he was younger and uh, growing up at my house, you know, when I was a young kid, I would always see my brothers getting their hair cut from my dad, you know. And then also my brother's friends would come over and get their hair cut. And my uncles would come over and get their hair cut. I would watch my grandpa getting his hair cut from my dad. So I would always see that. And I learned, it's just something I picked up. I wasn't taught how to cut hair, but um, it's just something that I learned being in a household with my dad. But then by the time, let's see, in uh, 1972, my dad became a correctional officer. And then that's what he did for his career from there on, you know, on out. But uh, I just picked it up, and, and when I had boys, I learned how to cut their hair, and I, we seen that I did a good job, so I continued to cut their hair. <laughs> and I cut Dakota's hair, and it looks like he, um, you know, goes to the barber. <laughs> Thanks to my dad. <laughs> you love the kitchen. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Says P O W P A K two. Trees B says I admire you for uh, realizing the gifts, talents God's blessed you with, using them to teach and encourage children to get in that kitchen. You know, it, you have to teach children to get in that kitchen. If you don't, they will have no interest in cooking. <laughs> they they won't. They won't want to cook. But I feel like it is important to teach your kids how to cook so they can learn how to take care of themselves. And, you know, it, it's good to know how to cook, you know? <laughs> girl, that I okay, says Lee Lum. Girl, that kitchen is huge. But, but here's the thing. You haven't even seen the rest. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you all the rest. Like I said, the view that I'm at right now is just kind of showing me only and a little bit of what's behind me. But there's more of the kitchen that you all will see um, when we do the full house review, okay? But I felt like I had to come in today to share with you all a little bit of something because I've been pushing you guys a little to the side because we have boxes and cardboard and styrofoam all over the place. We had to make a trail to walk through the new house, you know, but we're, we have been able to fold clothes, get cardboard out the way, you know, move the styrofoam and, uh, you know, uh, we've had deliveries come in and things like that. We've had people working in the house and outside of the house and in the basement. So it, we were kind of limited to what we could show, but, like I said, the house review is coming very, very soon, and I cannot wait to share it with you all. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, so now, give me 
a thumbs up on the way in. If you haven't thumbs up, check out real quick. Give me a thumbs up and come right back in. <laughs> Let's check. Um, I will have to do some research on it. It sounds really interesting. And we, we love eggplant. It, here's the thing. Eggplant is different. You have to know how to make it the right way, you know? You can check out some of my vegetable videos and you'll see me make an eggplant parmesan or, or, or what I've made a um, ratatouille and I believe I put eggplant in it. It can be delicious, but you have to know how to cook it, you know? You love the channel, Miss Gina. <laughs> Pepsi is bad for you. You learned the hard way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love what you can see of the new kitchen. That's great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Tiona Yvonne. And thank you for watching. <laughs> yes, I had um, two brothers growing up. And like I was saying, my dad would cut their hair. And I was always there to watch everything my dad was doing. <laughs> and I just picked it up. I, you know, I learned how to do certain things. Oh, thank you, Dewantra Anderson. If I'm saying your name wrong, please forgive me. Corey Cross, I'm a Pepsi girl too. You know, I here's the thing. I, okay, so my husband likes the Pepsi. I like Coke, and I like vanilla Coke. I love vanilla Coke, and I like Mountain Dew. Of course, no, like you said, it's not good for you, but every once in a while you need something, you know, you need a little bit of something sweet to drink. <laughs> you know, I don't gouge on it, you know, I can't, but it, it's great to have a nice sweet drink every once in a while. But what you will see here is that I have my water also. <laughs> I said it correctly. Oh, that's great. I said your name correctly. You said you love Coke too. I, I really do. I love Coke. <laughs> the Lord is amazing. And we just, we want to make sure that we give him thanks and praise every single day. Like you have to, you know, because God is so good to us. God is blessing us when we don't know. It. You know, God is there for us when no one else is there for us. God has protected us and kept us safe and loved us through everything and all of our sins. And, you know, I just like to take the time every single day out of my life just to say, thank you, Lord. I love you. We appreciate you. We believe in you. We have faith in you, you know, because it's so true. It's, it's just so true. And he is worthy. Listen here, guys. He's worthy to be praised. You bet he is. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, Eats with Fifi. How are you? And Valerie says, Amen. <laughs> the okay, so sometimes the, the chat is going by so fast, so please don't feel like I'm not reading the messages. Sometimes I just can't get to them. They're like, zoom, 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 zoom. And I don't want to slow it down. I'm not going to slow it down. Angela, thank you so much. Angela says, thank you. Well, thank you, and thank you for watching. Have you done a chicken sausage gumbo? I'm Okay, so let's talk about chicken sausage. I'm not a fan of chicken sausage. Of course you could use it, and there are some good chicken sausages out there, but I'm not a fan of it. So I haven't done that, but I have done a gumbo, you know, and what you could do is you could cop like copy the recipe and use that chicken sausage in your recipe you know let, let's just say i use a smoke andouille sausage or smoke uh some type of smoke sausage you use what you like so you can enjoy it as well if you like chicken sausage throw it in there instead of what i'm using you know that way you can enjoy it thank you miss nikki s paula says, love the kitchen and love your puppies. Thank you so much. <laughs> Somebody said they don't like chicken sausage or chicken hot dogs. Um, I, the hot dogs that I like is, I, I love the all meat hot dogs. It has to have the chicken, beef, and the pork, and they are so delicious. And when I make hot dogs, I, do, I don't 
know where I got this from, but when I cook hot dogs, of course I put them in a little pot of water, but I put some vinegar in them and it gives them a whole totally different taste. I don't put too much to where when you bite down into the dog it's vinegary, but I put enough in there just to kind of alter the flavor a little bit and the flavor is robust. I never make a hot dog without vinegar. <laughs> Let me know, am I crazy for that? <laughs> It's okay, if you call me crazy, it's okay. The Boar's Head um, hot dogs, but I bet you they're great. I, now, one hot dog that I don't like as well, I'm not a fan of the, um, tell me what they're called, guy. guys. Um, the beef hot dogs. Beef hot dogs to me, just to me, this is just my opinion. When it comes to a beef hot dog, I feel like they're really salty. Yes, I feel like they're really salty and I don't, I can do without them. <laughs> That's why I choose um, to eat the all meat hot dogs. Yes, we did, Nadra. We moved again, but only this house is our own now. We was able to purchase a home. Those other homes that you all seen us in, those were homes that we rented. You know, we've been renting for 20-something years for a long time, and it was time to have something to call our own. So that's why we moved. This is the last time we're going to be moving. <laughs> unless we put, you know, unless we pay this off, you know, heck, we could get another one. <laughs> Rent this one out. You never know. <laughs> you never know what could happen. <laughs> oh, you said they taste salty, but they're delicious. Oh, really? I might have to try them again and see. Pierogies, a Polish dish. I just did pierogies a couple of days ago. Check that video out. I feel like you'll absolutely love that video for the pierogies that I've made. Um, now those pierogies were pre-made, but we bumped them up and made them taste delicious. Absolutely. Well, will I do a meet and greet. Um, I have no intentions on doing a meet and greet. I really don't. Um, especially with the COVID going around. And yes, we are vaccinated, but right now, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm not interested in doing any collabs or meet and greets as of right now. I, I'm just not. You know, but we'll see. You never know because things might change one day. They really might change one day and we might be able to do something like that. You know, with the world and the way every, there's, you know, there's some crazy people out there. It's kind of scary to think of doing a meet and greet and you don't really know the people that's coming to see you or what their intentions are. So kind of stay, stay clear of stuff like that for right now. Just for right now. We'll, we'll, we'll see along the line. <laughs> the new kitchen. Yes, you are seeing just a smidgen of the kitchen as of right now. You'll get to see everything and you'll get to see more of the kitchen when we do the house reveal, which will be very soon. <laughs> Can you do a book signing and a cookbook when it comes out and a meet and greet? Wow. <laughs> oh, thank you, DD. Lee's Plan says hello and missed you. Miss you too. Thank you for watching. Gina Bop says love that kitchen thank you carolyn says love the new kitchen frost supreme it's safe to it somebody says it's safe to clean your meat with teaspoon oh okay somebody said it let me see is it safe to clean your meat with a teaspoon of bleach i don't suggest i'm not ever going to tell anybody to use bleach to clean your meat because i don't think that's safe you know, I just, I, this is not something that I would ever, ever do. So I don't suggest that, okay? I don't suggest that. Don't, don't suggest that. No, 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 no. No to bleach cleaning your meat. I say no to that. <laughs> okay, I don't know who came up with that, but that's a no for me. <clears throat> The Diva Young, that's what somebody says. My goodness. Somebody said, don't trump the meat. <laughs> Beef short ribs. I have done, I think, I think I've done a video 
on how to make beef short ribs. If I haven't, I will definitely uh, do a video for that for you all. I thought I did beef short ribs and I smothered them in gravy. Um, let me write it down, okay? Because if I haven't done it, I'll definitely do that for you. One thing that I'm not a fan of <clears throat> is beef ribs. I, I feel like it's just a waste because you get that slab of ribs and you got a little tiny bit of beef on there. You have all this fat and once the fat renders off, you're left with the bone and this tiny bit of meat. Me personally, here at the Young's house, we like the pork ribs. The pork ribs is going to give you a lot of meat and just that perfect marbling going throughout. It's going to be nice and juicy. Oh, I, I live for a rack of pork ribs. <laughs> I do. I know I'm crazy, but it's true. Do you have a recipe for pastrami sandwiches? I don't, but I can give you a recipe for it. Let me write that down, okay? Pastrami sandwiches. All right. Pastrami sandwich. So, so I've wrote down the creme brulee. Okay. And I, I know my hair is all over the place, but it's okay. We'll we'll make it through, right? So we got creme brulee. We have the beef short ribs, and we have the pastrami sandwiches. So I'm gonna put that <clears throat> with the other request. And listen here, if you've requested something and you don't see it right away, don't freak out. It's going to be okay. Like, I eventually will get to the recipes, but you got to remember that I, I'm doing so many recipes and I still have another long list of requests and things like that. But I finally will get to your request, okay? Thumbs up the live on your way in. If you, if you have not given me a thumbs up, back out real quick. Give a thumbs up and then come back into the chat so we can have fun and chat. Have you done enchiladas? Maybe you missed it. Um, I, uh, I want to say yes. You know, I have over 900 videos. Uh, I feel like I have done enchiladas. I've done, I, uh, <laughs> don't quote me on this, guys. I have so many videos. I feel like I've done beef and chicken enchiladas, but check it out. Check out the playlist. Um, sometimes a lot of things that you all ask about, I have it on the playlist. And all you got to do is go to the playlist, click on that bad boy, and you're going to find what you're looking for. You know, what, if you're looking for a vegetable, click in the vegetable uh, playlist. You're looking for a meat, click in the meats. You're looking for something international like Haitian food or Chinese food or Puerto Rican food. Click on that international. It's going to pop up. Chidi Young most likely has a recipe for it already. Okay? You love the smothered pork chops? A lot of people do. I learned how to make smothered pork chops when I was a little girl. And I literally can remember as it, like, like it was yesterday, my dad teaching me in the house that I grew up in how to make um, gravy. And he would be making the gravy and I would either be pouring in the hot water or stirring, you know, the gravy. Or I, I would be, um, doing one or the other or he would be pouring the hot water and i'd be stirring and he'd tell me keep stirring keep stirring and i just I, like i said i would pick i would pick up recipes and just remember it like you know like just remember it like a computer and never forget the recipe i can't do everyday living like that <laughs> That would be nice if I could pick up something, never forget it ever. But when it comes to recipes, I really can do that. I can see somebody cook something one time and I've stored it here. I've remembered it and never forgot it. And I, I love like, like cooking is my passion. It's, it's just everything to me until my heart is content. <laughs> oh, thank you, Marie. I don't have a recipe for the million dollar cake. I've never made it before, but I could figure out how to make it. Let me write that down, okay? Because you're not the first person that's asked for that recipe. Let's write it down. Okay. 
Okay, I want to, let's see. Just got something on my phone. Okay, it's Amazon. <laughs> I'm addicted to Amazon. <laughs> I am. And they're asking me, um, was I happy with my order? No, I wasn't. I wasn't happy with my order. What I ordered was a broom and a dustpan. And I got the dustpan that you can sit up. You know, here's the handle. And then the other part sits up. And then I got the broom to go with it. But my broom is only this long. Like, I got to bend over to, to sweep. So I wasn't happy with it. <laughs> I didn't know when I was ordering it that it was going to be that small. <laughs> Lamb chops and gravy. I will do that recipe for you all. So my grandma, Lucille, she would make um, lamb chops. She would take her lamb chops, I don't know what she seasoned them with, and she would season them, and she would throw them in a the broiler. And then she would have some mint jelly and some white rice. Listen, it was like everything. It only took her a good 10 minutes to make it. That's how, if I make it, that's how I'm going to make it for you guys. And of course, I can make some gravy on the side. But I would love to do that. So let's go ahead and write it down. Lamb chops. <clears throat> smother, right? All right, lamb chops, smother. Yes, yeah, somebody said bleach. I don't know what the heck. Not for cleaning meat. Oh, thank you so much, Linda Best. Can, it, can you do a Reese's Brownie? Oh, that sounds really good. Let's um, write it down, okay? Reese's Brownie. Oh, I sat there and I told somebody that I made a peanut butter cake. I didn't make a peanut butter cake. What I did make was a Reese's Cupcake. That's what I want you all to check out. Uh, listen, I made a Reese's Cupcake that was, it was like so succulent. It was delicious. It was by far one of my favorite cakes to make. It was easy and the flavor profile was like mind blowing. So if you get a chance, look at, so the person that I said I've made a peanut butter cake, it wasn't a peanut butter cake, it was a Reese cup cake. Check that recipe out and let me know what you think. And maybe that can satisfy the peanut butter cake that you're looking for. Because, I mean, like, it, it is full of peanut butter. It has, um, it has, uh, I believe we use chocolate cake. We use Cool Whip. And it was just outstanding. Absolutely it was. It's hot down there. You've had lots of rain, but we got sunny days too. Oh, wow. Tater top casserole. Okay, we'll do. Let's write that down. I believe I ha I do have it. I have a tater top casserole, but let's do it again. Let's do it again because... Oh, okay. You, you love lamb chops. You just need a recipe for a good sauce to go with them. Okay, okay, but like I said, here's what's perfect with lamb. You gotta try some type of mint, mint jelly. You could um, heat the mint jelly down just a little bit, just for five, seven seconds. And then you take your lamb and you dip it through there. Oh, listen here, talk about something good. Or you could even make a blueberry sauce versus a gravy. Man, talk about some good eating. You hear me? <laughs> you've added a couple, you love watching the videos. You've added a couple new items to the menu. Congrats on a new home. Thank you. Oxtails sound good. They do sound good. Absolutely, they do. Check out my video for oxtails. I have several videos for oxtails. Help me with the peanut butter frosting. We'll do that. Okay. It's really simple to make. 
Oh, thank you, Rich P. Thank you so much. Ricky Burnell, can't wait for your holiday recipes. The, you know the holiday recipes, they're coming. They're coming very soon. And I, as much as you guys can't wait, I can't wait to, I can't wait to get in the kitchen and put my turkey in the oven. In this oven, I'm so excited here. We have the oven that's built in. I've always wanted something like that, and I'm so grateful that I'm gonna be able to share this oven with you guys. <laughs> Very nice. Using it, okay. Lemon cheesecake does sound good. Yes, Anthony. Thank you, Busy B. Stewed peas, pigtails, and salted beef. I tell you what, that sounds delicious. With some white rice and some cornbread, that's all I need. That that's all I need. I you know, I feel like I feel like I want a big pot of some type of beans and cornbread and rice or some cabbage, rice, and cornbread. I, I, I'm thinking all this stuff because it's been several days since we've had some real food, you know. <laughs> like I said, tomorrow we're gonna go grocery shopping and we'll have some real food in here. Peanut butter jelly cake, I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> crock pot recipes. Crock pot recipes for me. I'm gonna be honest with you, but they're a little, it's difficult for me to make, and the reason why is because I don't wanna be recording all morning and all day. I don't wanna to have to have my camera on hold because I'm making something that cooks uh, six or seven hours in the crock pot. Do you understand what I mean? So that's why I don't do that. Of course, I do love crock pot recipes, but when you're recording, you want to record, you know, after you're done making the recipe, you want to be able to, you know. <laughs> oh, cheers to your grandma Lucille for her lamb chops and mint jelly. Yes, absolutely. My grandma was my everything. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Roberta Amberson. Marsha White says, oh, okay. <laughs> I will say that prayer before we get off. I'll remember to, okay? Red beans and rice does sound good. I have a video for Hung. Do I have a video for Hungarian goulash? When I went to um, culinary art school, uh, that's one of the things, that's one of the first things that I made um, and that I learned how to make. And it was so much fun and it was delicious. We literally learned how to make everything from boiling water to, to seasoning food to using the knives correctly and just, you know, like anything you could learn about cooking, we learned that at culinary art school. And besides that, I did go to culinary art school already knowing how to do a lot of stuff. But it was just a passion that I already had inside of me. Like I said, I started cooking at a young age and started watching my dad and my grandma cook and listening and watching recipes. But going to culinary art school kind of sealed the deal. You know, it just, you know, because things I may not have known already, I was taught that. And it was just an amazing experience. Oh, you love the meat sauce recipes? Thank you, Darlena. Cherry Delight. Oh, fried eggplant with onions. That sounds absolutely amazing. Nashville Hot Smashed Cheeseburgers, your own creation. That sounds really good. Nashville Hot Smashed Cheeseburgers, your own creation. Woo! You need to try stewed goat. Plenty. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody said you need to try stewed goat placenta. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I, okay. Okay, let's talk about it. We gotta talk about this. The placenta of the goat? I'm not. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Well, I'm not eating anybody's placenta. You might want to eat. <laughs> you might want to eat the placenta, but I don't. But I can definitely do a stewed goat recipe for you. 
I was just saying the other day that you are able to find the goat meat cubes in the frozen bag in the bunker in the freezer section in the middle of the floor and I'm definitely going to bring you guys some goat recipes. If you never tasted goat meat before, it's delicious. It's like the best steak that you've ever had, yet it's even more tender than beef. Okay, so you have to try it if you never had it. And is it gamey? I'm going to go ahead and answer that now. No, it's not gamey. It's delicious. Yes. <laughs> Somebody said, y'all doing too much. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Raspberry cheesecake cookies. That sounds absolutely amazing. Haitian Grillo. Yes, I can. I have a video for it. But if you want me to do it again, I would be glad to do it again. That's how much I love it. Let's write down Haitian Grillo. Okay, let's see. Haitian Griot with some fried plantains and some peas and rice, and I am set. <laughs> Homemade chicken and noodles, I do have that, and I can make another video for you. Let's write it down, okay? There we go. You created that burger yourself. Um, if you would like the recipe, you'll send it to me. Go ahead and send it to my email. Peanut butter squash pie. I love, or you said peanut, peanut, oh, hold on, I, I didn't get to see that. Are you saying butternut squash? Did I, maybe I read it wrong. I love butternut squash. Butternut squash is the best, especially if you put it in a stew. I feel like there's so many people that won't try different things because maybe they didn't grow up on it or, or they never tasted it before, so they're just not gonna taste it, you know. Sometimes venture out a little bit and taste something and see, like don't knock it before you try it because I tell everybody about butternut squash. Thank you, Asia, um, Asia B. A chest pie, lemon chest pie. I'll write that down for you, okay? Oh, but what I was saying was, don't knock something until you try it. I, I feel like try something at least one time, you guys. Try, try something one time. And then you can either say, hey, I don't like it. You know, or you can say, oh, I love it. I'm going to try it again. But if you never, ever try it, don't, you know. You gotta give yourself a chance to see if you would like something, you know. Upside down pineapple cornbread. Oh my goodness, that sounds delicious. Upside down pineapple cornbread. Oh, somebody said you don't knock the placenta, Gina. I know, I totally know, I totally know, but me personally, I don't wanna eat placenta. Like I've seen after I've had kids, guys, come on, I've seen the placenta. And I don't, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and explain that to y'all. <laughs> oh, it can get crazy when you're in here doing lives. <laughs> I've seen what the real placenta looks like. So I could only imagine what a goat's placenta looks like. So I don't know how to say your name. Is it Criola? Crella? Criola? Jones, thank you so much. If I've said your name wrong, please forgive me. Thank you for watching. You guys are laughing. Summer squash, I, I make it all the time. Check the recipe out. How I really like to make the yellow summer squash is I just chop it up a little bit, put some fresh mushrooms and some onions and zucchini with it. Just get it nice and grilled up, get some char marks on it, throw some salt and pepper on it and eat it that way. And it is so succulent. I love yellow squash. Can you please make a Creole dish for seafood for you? Okay, so let's write down Creole. I wrote down chitlins the other day, okay? So I'm turning the page. <clears throat> and what did we say? Creole. And somebody says deep fried live lobster. Okay, hold on. Creole dish for you. Oh, thank you, A. Grady. Liver and onions. 
Okay, let's write it down. Oh, thank you, GP. Thank you so much. Now, you'll get to see the full kitchen when we do the walkthrough of the whole home, you know. Okay, so right now, we're just kind of giving you a smidgen a little bit, okay? Much different from the other house. You know, the other house is, um, you know, it's older, and it does need updated, but it was a great kitchen, and it was a blessing when we were there. You know, I'm so grateful for this kitchen here. Oh, we praise God, and we just thank God every day. Could you do a keto week? Let me write it down, okay? I, here's the thing. I'm not really all familiar with keto, exactly what keto is and all that stuff. I have to do research and learn how to cook keto stuff because I, I'm not familiar with it. It's just being honest with you guys. But I'm going to write it down, okay, in hopes that maybe possibly I could do that for you, okay? Keto week. Seafood platter. Pig ear. No pig ears. No pig ears over here. Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> okay, so now, so now here's what I, I know y'all are just playing with me right now. Pig ears. Yeah, uh-huh. But I know there is people that make pig ears, and I know they could probably be delicious. I know they're probably gelatinous, you know, they got, they're, you know, kind of chewy a little bit. Um, I imagine you would have to, uh, like, boil them for a long time and then possibly fry them or something. But I'm not, I don't know if I want to eat pig ear. <laughs> you guys, uh-huh, you guys are just playing with me. <laughs> you don't really want pig ears, do you? Or do you? <laughs> or, or do you? <laughs> oh, pork, pork and beef. I have several recipes for pulled pork, and listen here, when, I, when, when you check out the recipe for my pulled pork, I usually turn it into a barbecue pork, and we put it on a sandwich with possible, with possible um, coleslaw, or just the barbecue pork on the sandwich. Uh, you will see in the recipes that, or in the videos, that when I pull that bone out of that pork shoulder, I believe it's a pork, I, I use a, um, a pork butt roast is what I use. When I pull that bone out of the pork, it slides out with ease. And you know that that pork is so delicious and tender. Check out, you, you got to check it out. You got to check those videos out. Somebody said, who's eating the placenta? Not me. <laughs> I didn't suggest it. <laughs> Barbecued pig's feet, it actually does sound good. Stuffed portobello mushroom. Okay, let me write that down. Because it's so easy and it's so delicious. And possibilities are endless when you talk about stuffing a mushroom. What are all the different things you could stuff a mushroom with? Heck, you could stuff a mushroom with the stems of the mushroom. You know, using some breadcrumbs and some feta cheese. And it, it's so easy to make and a, something delicious. So let's write that down. Stuff portabella. There's so many people that are afraid to, uh, some people, there's a lot of people that are afraid of mushrooms and they don't like the look of mushrooms, so they don't eat them. How many of you are afraid of mushrooms or you think that the mushroom has a scary look? Okay, so um, Tabby Cat 29. Says hog mugs. Oh yes, hog mugs are my favorite. Thank you for the super chat. Those are good wild stuff mushrooms. Ooh. Turkey necks, please. Okay, let's write that down. Barbecue tur turkey thighs. Hold on. you guys are going too fast. Okay, so turkey necks. Barbecue turkey thighs. All right. Oh, thank you, PVT, J-O-I. David says, stuff the mushrooms with crab meat. That really sounds good. It does, that's a great idea. Linda Best says, uh, stuffed cabbage, I believe. 
Now, when it comes to mushrooms, I can eat mushrooms raw. I can eat them just sauteed. I can eat them. I, I love mushrooms. My doctor told me not to eat them. He did. My doctor said, don't eat it. It's a fungus. Uh, but I love mushrooms and I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop eating mushrooms. I love them. <laughs> but I do listen to my doctor. <laughs> really, I do. <laughs> That water is so good. Piece of candy, thank you. Somebody said, okay, a piece of candy said cow eye. But then they said they're just joking. I know you're joking. I know you guys are playing with me. <laughs> Mac and cheese with crab meat does sound great. Please make seafood rice. Like a fried rice or something. I'm just doing this because my back, my neck, and everything is kind of sore from moving. You know, we all are a little sore. I did not know that you're a fan of Pepsi soda in the kitchen with Gina Young, says Six Woods Taylor. I'm not. Um, my husband likes the Pepsi. I like the Coke. I like the vanilla Coke, and I like Mountain Dew. So you see, I took a couple of sips, but I'm really not interested in the Pepsi that, not that much. But every once in a while, when you have something like hot wings or pizza or something, you just have to have a Pepsi to go with it, you know? I don't indulge in pop all the time, but when I do, I like to have the vanilla Coke. Oh, and I also like, I like vanilla Coke and I like uh, Mountain Dew. And now they have like a, I believe it's a Baja Mountain Dew that's delicious. And then they have a watermelon, watermelon Mountain Dew that's delicious as well. <laughs> Cherry Coke. Oh, uh, yeah. And you know what I love about the fried ribs is it really does sound like it's hard to make, but guess what? It's so easy to make. You can make them really quick, delicious, and they're fall off the bone. You hear me? Those fried ribs, buddy, when you bite down into them, you get that crispiness. You get that saltiness, and then you get that nice, soft meat that's going to fall right off the bone when you bite into it. I, I won't forget it, okay? Let's write it down a second time for you, okay? Fried ribs. Mm, let's see. So I'm glad I was able to share with you all a part of the kitchen, you know, with you guys. I was so excited to do this today. <laughs> Somebody said, yup to the pig ears. Is there some food you don't like to eat? Let me think about that. Um, what is it that I don't like to eat? Um, I, I have made a video for the fried Oreos. If you check out that video, you're going to go nuts over it because because what you're going to love about it is it's simple to make and you can make it all the time. It doesn't hardly even require a lot of ingredients. You know, you just kind of dip it and fry it in bad boys. Um, is, let me think, is there a something that I don't like to eat? What is it? I really have to think hard. There is something that I don't like. Um, <laughs> I just have to really think hard. I feel like it's just not coming to me right now, but I'll think about it. Ask me again, okay? You didn't see the kitchen pan, the can, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Pineapple fresca? Oh, I don't like bananas. So somebody reminded me. You guys know me better than I do. I don't like bananas. I won't eat bananas. You have to. Uh-uh. 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 I I don't like but now listen, if we do something, let's just say we did um uh, like a banana cake, a banana dessert, or banana pudding, of course I'll eat it, and I like that, or I like banana candy, but when it comes to just eating a regular banana, not for me. 
I don't do bananas. I, I can't. I don't like the taste. I don't like the taste. And I know that's weird. And a lot of people say, girl, bananas is good. But, and they could be. But I don't like bananas. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, let's see, Kroger's used to have their own vanilla Coke for years, and you missed that. Ooh, homemade cheesecake, curry golden peas and rice, sweet potato pancakes. You don't like nutmeg. Uh, when it comes to nutmeg, I feel like you have to be very gentle with using nutmeg. You can't use too much. If you use too much, you can mess the whole situation up. And, 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 and if there's something that calls for nutmeg and you don't like it, don't use it. Just use cinnamon. <laughs> use a little bit of allspice if you want or use cinnamon. But the nutmeg it is, is kind of iffy with me. You will see me use it, but when I use it, I use a little tiny bit, you know. Some people, when they make their, um, their uh, pumpkin pie, they use nutmeg and they use a lot of it. I'm not a fan of it. Just use cinnamon if you don't like nutmeg. <laughs> Andrew Johnson, thank you so much. Appalachian drop biscuits and cookie and chocolate gravy. I, it, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is delicious. Just a little bit of it. Sweet potato pancakes does really sound good. Let's write it down, okay? Updated version of your strawberry pretzel salad. Absolutely, I can. What Adrian thinks. Strawberry um, pretzel. I don't know why they call it a salad instead of a dessert, but it's delicious. If you guys don't mind like the sweet and salty, you're going to love this recipe because I believe, I can't remember, I believe you use like cream cheese. Everybody likes cream cheese, right? You use Jello, you use the crushed um, pretzels, and it's so much fun and it's beautiful because you got this gorgeous layer of the Jello. You got the, um, I believe, the pretzel crust that we sweeten up a little bit with some sugar and some butter to make a crust. But I will do that. So I got the strawberry pretzel salad. It's a lot of fun to make, but you do have to wait on it to set up in the refrigerator, you know. I, I do like, uh, Derek, I do like the banana pudding with the wafers. Now, and if I bite down in a, a, into a banana, I'm okay that way. But just eating a banana raw, you know, just, just that way, I can't. Mm -mm. It, it's not for me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Leisha. Sweet potato turnovers does sound great. Millionaire shortbread bars, never heard of it. Codfish fritters does sound amazing. Now, it, it's kind of like what I'm going to be making. Uh, the name of it is called, uh, let me think, it's Puerto Rican, it's called bacalao, okay? And I'm gonna be using the salted codfish fritters, okay? So I, I'm gonna be making that, and hopefully this is what you're asking about, is the bacalao, the Puerto Rican fish fritters. I'm going to make that. I've already wrote that down last time. Oh, just checking in, says Sheila Wilson. Well, welcome, and thank you for watching. Lori uh, Elizabeth Wade says, homemade cheesecake. Can you make candy recipes? Hi, Alyssa. Um, I really don't know how to make candy. <laughs> oh, I did make a um, potato candy one time. It was a lot of fun and it tastes delicious. It's just something, uh, let me see, can, can you do an In-N-Out Animal Style Double Burger? Okay, I'll give that a try, I'll write it down, okay? Haitian or Jamaican jerk chicken? Haitian, yes, Haitian, but I don't know, because Jamaican is amazing too. You, you really got me stumped for, for the answer for that question because I love Haitian and I love Jamaican. They're kind of very, very similar. Bayou Kitchen Guy says, uh, Gina, hi, happy weekend to everyone. Same to you. 
Are you planning on making an updated version of your potato salad with lemon? I can. I can. Let, let's write it down, okay? Let's just write it down. <laughs> um, lemon potato salad, right? Are you guys enjoying the lives that I have been doing, knowing that I have I, that I'm not a live person? Like I, I, I like to get in the kitchen and give you guys recipes. Are you guys enjoying the lives? Do you want me to do uh, a couple of lives here and there? Yes. Okay, let me answer my phone, guys. Give me one second. <clears throat> Hello? Hi, honey. That's going good. I'm going live. I'm still on live, yep. Okay. Okay, I'll tell him right now. All right, love you. Bye. Dakota, come here. Hold on, guys. Okay, okay, do me a favor. Go, uh, uh, put the dogs, put the dogs in the cage so they don't run out the door, first of all. Okay, please. And then let your dad in and help him. Because he's got a bunch of groceries. He's got something, okay? Okay. So, all right, everybody. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off of here. But I might come back because I know I'm going to have some groceries to put away and some cooking to do. I enjoyed this time with you all. I enjoyed sharing the kitchen with you guys. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. You're gonna see more lives. And as soon as we, go help him. Um, as soon as we get everything together, you're gonna to be able to see the whole house tour. All right? So let's sign out. I love you guys. Good night. Good night.